In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor Stack Layout component. It allows you to stack UI elements vertically or horizontally. Let's look at how to add it to a project and customize it. I've already created a Blazor application that is configured to use DevExpress components. Now I add a DX stack layout to the page and define layout items. I add a DX stack layout item tag and use the template property to specify the item's content. I add more items in the same way. Let's run the application. Now you can see several items displayed horizontally. You can use CSS classes to customize item appearance. I define styles in the style section and use different colors for the layout items. Then I apply these styles to item content. Okay, let's view the changes. Now I'll demonstrate how to change the item's length. I go back to Visual Studio and specify the length property to the items. This property accepts CSS units. You can specify an item's length in pixels, percentages, or set the property to auto. That means the item size will fit a content object. You can also use the FR unit. This unit is introduced by the CSS grid. The default item's length is one FR. The stack layout's items whose length is specified with the FR unit are arranged last since they occupy the remaining space. The space is divided between these items in proportion to the prefix number. Okay, let's take a look at this in the browser. To set the stack layout's height, use the style property. Currently, layout items are arranged in a row since the item's default orientation is horizontal. I can change it to vertical, and now you'll see that the items are arranged in a column. Now let's add some adaptivity to change the item's orientation depending on the device screen size. I'll use the DX layout breakpoint component for this purpose and specify the screen size when the breakpoint should be activated. Now create a Boolean X small screen data field, bind the breakpoint to it, and use this field to manage the item's orientation. For small screens, it should be vertical. For all others, horizontal. And here is my adaptive stack layout. When I change the screen size, the item's orientation changes. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful in getting you started using our stack layout component for Blazor. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you get notified anytime DevExpress releases new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.